Hi, everybody. We are here with something so exciting. So our wonderful Linda Wall, the one that you have watched her create all the wonderful magic and all the things that happens around here at the doll shop. She sits right over there. Hi, Linda. Hi. Linda has been working very hard on something for the virtual convention. Now, as, as you guys know, Linda is our resident sewing instructor and doll repair and just overall go-to lady for the convention. And she teaches wonderful classes out here in Colorado. She works here at the doll shop and she is our ins virtual instructor for the virtual doll convention. In the first convention, she did a wonderful kit that was a slip and underwear for a doll. In the in our second convention, she did a fabulous steampunk outfit for the Helen Kish doll. And now for our third virtual convention, she has done a classic, beautiful, wonderful outfit kit for the Grace Marie Fitzpatrick doll and it's wonderful. She has 45 of them and we are going to show them to you right now. So I'm going to turn the camera around and you guys are going to... Hi Linda. Hi. Hi. You have been working so hard on this. Now the first thing we have to say and it's a live doll shop everybody so um, if you're calling to order it over the phone like this person is right now, you order it through Linda's website and we do have the kit, uh, the link in the video. So Linda, this is not the doll, but this is, this is the rain face. This is not the face of the Robert Tonner doll you will receive just to let everybody know that, but it is the body and this is what it looks like. Tell us about this, Linda. You have been working so hard and so diligently. There's so much to love about this. Well, you said to keep it very basic for our basic beginner sewers. So that was my first challenge. And then you wanted it, to, we wanted to do after Kate Middleton. And so I did some research and I kept looking at costumes that Kate had has worn. And so I did come up with one. And if you can see, this is the dress that I took it off of. That's the dress. So it was a challenge for Linda, everybody, to, I wanted something that was, I, I, wa I don't want to say easy, but I wanted something that was easy. So like a beginner could definitely, definitely do this. So this is what it's off of. I love this. And when I um, looked at the hat, she, um, in the original pictures, she has like green feathers and blue feathers. So I wanted to keep the same theme. And we went with pink and brown for the accent colors, darker pinks and browns. So she has a hat just like Kate has. I love this. It's, you know, it looks very hard, but if you want to keep, you know, stay with me, you can, you can do this. Because even with doing the doll shoes, they, I, I could have taught you how to make Heels. Okay, let's take her off the stand. So, uh, well, we don't necessarily have to take it, but I want, but I want to show these amazing shoes. Okay, so let's lay her down so we can look. These are so much fun. The wedges in this kit, I love them. See, the the wedges are my favorite. The wedges and the hat are my favorite part of this kit. But so, tell us about these wedges. They're awesome. <laughs> well, I ordered a hundred corks, thinking corks worked for me. But when I got the corks, all corks are not created equal, and I couldn't even cut them with a serrated knife. Oh, so man. So that was back to the drawing board. So they are made. So you have 100 corks for sale. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't drink that much wine bottle. I have that many wine bottles. But anyway, um, so we went to the drawing board, tried to figure out what I could do that would be easy for beginners to start learning to make shoes. And it ended up being a styrofoam ball. That's a styrofoam a ball. ball. Underneath leather that is on the wrong side. It it looks awesome. I love it. And then this this leather that her shoes are made out of, that is hand dyed by you. Yes. I wanted it to match and I couldn't get it to match the pink. So, the and, yes. Yeah. And the and buttons. Let's talk about the buttons. The buttons are also made by me. So I had to construct them to get them to somewhat match because pinks always 
are hard to come up with, just like reds. Reds are not always equal. They are. So just to reiterate, everybody, everything that is in this kit, you can't just go on the internet and buy it. This is hand dyed by Linda. These are handmade by Linda. All of this all of the materials for this kit have been sourced over the last several months mm -hmm. since January. Since um, when did we you started working on this in June? June. So and the feathers were bought in New York. The feathers were bought in New York when she when just went traveling. to New York for yeah. So it's it's amazing. I really love it, and I love that it's it's for all levels. Let's talk about the clutch. It's very very simple. Let me get some. Just open it up. And I took a remnant, which you will have, and just glued it onto the back. And then it's just glued together. But it looks so chic and it's so cute. I love it. And if you'll notice on the original picture, she has gloves. But I felt that was way too over the top for a beginner. So I just added the trim. What's important to understand about these kits and the class, which everyone with your registration will attend, is that you are gonna learn how to make this hat, you are gonna learn how to make this clutch, you're gonna learn how to make these shoes. So you're learning and how to make this wonderful classic day dress. So you're learning all different aspects of sewing and doll costume through this beginner course. So let's talk about your amazing booklet that you have made. Linda's booklets are the absolute best. So when you guys order your kit, you're going to get an automatic email download with the kits and everything and the patterns for this Fabulous outfit. I just can't quit looking at her. I love the the dark hair that you put on her. Our Grace has very long dark hair, and she's amazing. For those that are just tuning in, this is Ryan Roche. This is not Grace, but it is the same body, and she will have long, dark, voluptuous, darker hair than this even, and totally different makeup. But you can just see the quality and the amazingness of this doll. Okay, you'll have two booklets. This is the regular booklet. And this booklet is also there. You can download it, but you will d print it double-sided and flip on the short side. And then it will come out just like this with the pages in order. And it's the same information that is in this full larger. You can print it out just like this, everybody, and put it in a binder. Or you can have this in your sewing box. For it follows the same path as I've always been doing. This is our review for some of the things that we're doing here that we've covered in detail in one and two um, virtual convention. This is what we're going to talk about is clipping to the dot, dots, which is right here. Let's see if I can. Okay. So it will turn nicely. Mm hmm. We're going to talk about evening a hem before we, um, and trimming it off and how we do that easy. Because when, sometimes it slips a little bit. So you might have to, une you know, even the, your hem. And a lot of people don't know how to do that. Putting on the snaps, buttons, we're going to talk about pinking shears. Now this is a modern doll, so we can do other techniques that we wouldn't, ever use on an antique reproduction or antique that's what we love about i am all about here there's a wonderful antique doll and we're doing classic things that we would never put snaps on an antique costume and on modern dolls we can that's why it's so important to have a little bit of everything because then we're not limited to anything we can just do everything that we want right linda correct that's correct. All right, so let's let's talk more. And so everybody that is registered for the convention, you will get the sewing kit, which, uh, not the sewing kit, the you patterns. will get the, the patterns and the instruction book, which is what we're looking at right now. We're gonna learn to curl feathers. Curling feathers, feathers. oh, That's fun. fun. It's really fun. And then we're gonna um, finish a sole leather, which sole leather is what's on the bottom of the dolls. Oh, look at that, okay. Now. You can buy a slicker, or I come, came up with another way you can do it and not have to purchase a slicker. This is the doll. This is what it was created from. And 
One of the things this pattern does is you notice that on Kate's, she's always very elegant. These seams perfectly match. Yes. And this is a fully... Well, fully lined, yes. It's so important for you guys to know that this is a fully, fully lined, lined jacket. This is dress really fine Batiste. And then this is piquet. Pink piquet. And... Gonna, now, if you're not a sewer, you can get the kit and have somebody sew it for you. That's right. And you could try your hand at all of this uh, fun stuff. The uh, dress, the hat, and the purse, and the shoes. So look at this, everybody. Look how detailed this is. This is amazing. Linda has put this together in an easy way to understand. And the amount of work involved in this is just absolutely mind-blowing. Everyone at the convention, again, is going to receive this fabulous sewing instruction manual, plus the pattern to make this awesome outfit. Yes, and it's a very simple pattern. You can tell that it's fairly long. It's longer than eight and a half by 11. So we had to ang angle it. But um, on your instructions, there is one thing I want you to be aware of. Where is it? I know I put it in here before cutting. For all of us who love Linda, you guys are just gonna you see you see the fun stuff that she does around here in the virtual convention. She will be teaching us her tips, and her tricks, everything. Linda is a world class, the highest you can get in the Doll Artisan Guild as far as instructors. She people fly from all over the world to attend her sewing classes out here in Colorado. And BB, thank you. Just teaching is a lot of work. And just this booklet was a tremendous amount of work. And everyone is receiving it. Isn't that just, that's just such a gift. Such a gift. So thank you so much, Linda. So basically, when you download this and you print it, you have to make sure that this inch prints out. And on some of the home printers, it's just a like one sixteenth of an inch off. Yes. So the only thing I said in the beginning of the instructions that you will have to add, I think it's three eighths of an inch to all of your dress pattern pieces right here on the base, on the bottom of her dress. Okay. Because that's what, it, rather than get all upset about it, it, I tried it on three home printers and they all came out. But if you send it to a professional printer like Home Depot or someplace, it comes out to be one inch. Okay, so that's worth it. It's worth it. So that is just one thing I want you to know about. Now let's talk about why this kit is worth the money. This kit is really worth the money. You can see, first of all, it's fully lined. And rather yes. than have two pieces of fabric and have them sliding around, this is your lining which is a real fine Batiste, and it's pink. Yeah, it's a beautiful color. I love that. It's very fine. And this is the fine lined bouquet. And you can see how fine it is. Yes, Bye -bye. and this fabric you source, it's hard to get. It's not cheap. It's very expensive. It is. And it's pre-cut. It's just all ready to go for you. It's 100% cotton. So you're working with natural fibers, which is really so important. Nice. This is her hat. Oh, the hat is amazing. Okay. Look at this. I can't wait to learn how to curl feathers with you. This is all of her feathers. Hmm. There it is. I forgot it. Here it is. For those that are just tuning in, we are looking at the kit for the Tonner doll. You've got buckram. The sewing kit, yes your hat wire, the felt to cover the buckram so it's soft, because if you didn't do that, just think you would be able to see. Oh, little... that wouldn't be good. No, it wouldn't be nice. So that is what's here. And then of course, my secret feather keeper, our twill tape, that's in there. Man, our phones are just ringing off the off hook, the everybody. It's because you have to order these through Linda's website. Then her shoes. This is what you get here. I love the shoe kit. I just couldn't make this outfit without shoes. I mean, 
She no, just, and and one of the shoe here. Oh, it just fell here. It fell go. in my drawer. Okay, There's look some... at look at the shoe, everybody. They are the cutest wedges. I am obsessed. Oh my gosh, I love these wedges. And Kate wears wedges all the time. She does. I went in and made sure of it. Yes, yeah, she, she does. has. She, she can't wedges. have open toes, but she can have wedges. Yes. This is the the form that we're going to be using, and I put a pattern in here that you'll cut. We're going to talk about that. Here's the brown leather, and this is the side you're going to be using. That what? It looks so perfect. Nothing says we can't use that. This is your sole leather. This is the pink leather for her top of her shoes. And this is for the inner sole. And you'll use scraps of your lining, which is here, if you wanted to, to cover that up. No, we are not going to fully line her shoes because that's... That's a lot. That's more advanced. But you've got basic little shoes. Now, I have cut these up pretty high. And, the, and some people like their... To the reason it is, she has an arched foot. Yes. But I also didn't... I don't like dolls that always constantly are losing their shoes. And she usually keeps her shoes on. Oh, yeah. Definitely. If I would cut this down, it'd be that much easier for her to lose shoes. So I, I don't like them losing hard. shoes either. It's hard to find, replace them. So that's the reason. But we'll talk about if you want them cut lower, we'll talk about that. There's some tricks on making this that makes it easier. And we're going to talk about that too. That is that is the most important thing is because in the classes, Linda and, and the, the whole class is so valuable. So whether you get the kit or not, I think you should. Uh, there's only 45 of them and she has been working on them for months to source all these materials. Kits are wonderful because it's just mm -hmm. everything in one spot. And they all match because even when I was sourcing out the buttons, the pearl parts for the buttons, I have two different other colors and I didn't like them. So I had to buy some, you know, like 500 buttons, tops, and then I said, oh, I can't use them. So they're sitting at home. To oh be used man, some other time. With, with all the other corks, she has been working on this, and and it's been a it's been a lot of trial and error over the last several months mm -hmm. to get it to where it is today. So if you don't, if you are involved in product development, then you're going to understand. If you're not, then I hope you appreciate this because product development. I'm getting a taste of this now. What do you feel about product development? It's a uh, time consuming. Yes. process and it's trial and error yeah you think you have the perfect thing yeah and then you get it and it's the wrong color it looked different on the computer but then when you get it it just clashes right and you can't use it and so it goes to the side and you try again yep you and come you try up again Linda is she will mess up on camera and we just keep on trucking and because if, if she makes a mistake, likely are you are too, and any other sewer. And it's important for us to learn from each other and stuff like that. She didn't make very many, but but when she does, it's always a learning opportunity. Well, I made two trials after making the pattern on the dress because I didn't like it. And I wanted to make it sure it would be easy to him. Mm -hmm. So I had to go ahead and add more length. When I added more length, that caused another issue. So I had to do it again. So this is one of the ways you can easily hem a line dress. Now, I had a student ask me, well, does she have slip? No, I don't think Kate. And I didn't ask Kate if she wears a slip. But I'm assuming that a full, uh, fully lined dress, she wouldn't need to. So this is shown on our 16-inch Tonner doll. Now, how can this be adjusted? And this will also fit any 16 inch Tonner doll, but this will also fit a 16 inch fashion doll, slender body. Mm -hmm. And then you can also use your proportional wheel, correct? Correct. To change it, to enlarge it, or make it smaller. smaller. So I, it would be fun to take another doll and use it. So you can, you can play with us even though you don't have the Tonner doll. But I would strongly, I can't wait to get mine. I just used this one for, I wanted to make sure I had the pattern. I didn't have to work in one day trying to get it done. I wouldn't have made it. I wouldn't have made my deadline. 
Robert Tonner said, and he doesn't even know, but he, and believe me, we talked about the doll in length when I was in New York. He said they will be delivered the week of Christmas to me, which means we're going to be rocking and rolling here, getting them all out to you. But that also means you will have them before the virtual start of the convention. And I have learned so much about how long things take. And as soon as they're done, she's probably getting her final touches right now. But he said that it, they'll be here in like three days once they ship. So they're, she's probably going to have her own plane because there's like <laughs> 300. There's 300 of them and we have sold 275. That's good. And we haven't even seen her. I know. She's going to be <laughs> awesome. I can't wait. So. Oh, no. Yeah. What Robert did and designing her clothes and everything, um, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. But what you have done is amazing. So let's look at this one more time. The link to purchase, there's only 45 kits, is in the video. We are going to be having this entire class at the virtual convention with Linda. Everyone is getting the sewing reference booklet, which are just, they're, they're a complete gift to any sewer, doll maker, whatever, in, in and of themselves. Totally amazing. Plus the pattern to make this. I highly suggest you buy one of these kits. You don't have to. Linda, you are so awesome. Thank you. Have you enjoyed being the sewer? And so when I when I first said, do you want to do a virtual doll convention? You were like, sure, yeah, we could teach. I said, could you teach something? And I said, yeah, what? Yeah, I said, I don't know, something about sewing or whatever you do. Um, and it's been, it's fun. It's really fun because I always have to put myself in to a beginning student and what you would like to learn. And no matter how long you've sewed or made doll stuff, you can always learn another technique. And always. I still am always looking for new techniques. Wonderful. Me too. So. Well, I can't wait for you guys to learn how to do this hat, the clutch that just fell down. Uh, the, the amazing wedges, the dress, it's all going to be so much fun. We're going to be filming her program next week here in the shop for airing at the January 2020 virtual doll convention. Linda, congratulations. I'm so glad. You have been working so hard on this kit. Every day we have been talking about this kit for months. That's true. And it's finally here. It is. And I'm glad it's ready to go and it's all boxed and ready. So She's been working her little tushy off, I'm telling you. Uh -huh. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing this and we will see you very soon. Bye. Bye.